All right. Well, what's up with you, man? What have you been doing this week aside from going to jail? Well, um, from back in to back out, I am. Oh, I heard. I am. Are you now afflicted with the curse of hatred? Sir? I am now just about done with Naruto in the literal sense of the word <laughs> and in the um in and in the metaphorical sense because uh we've pretty much hit we've hit credits on uh Nuns 4 and so with that has come a clear picture of uh, what this full story entails and I am now up to speed on most of the details of course there's a lot of fine details that I uh, was not privy to and that was my sure, sure. that was my my decision was to catch up via cyber connect because I was not mm -hmm. going to sit and go through all of the and then people could sprinkle you with the important shit later yeah I was not going to go through the years of, 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 of footage and you know um, it was a mistake to 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 do that final session uh, all in one day because boy was I absolutely destroyed by the end of it. It was a, it was a double day of of streaming and um, yeah, we we ended up uh, canceling, getting to finding games over it. But um, I also didn't know how short the game was. It is ridiculously short compared to uh, previous entries. But that's also probably because it really is one a map with a series of it's a timeline with a series of timeline battles to go through. No running mm -hmm. around in an overworld. And it really is like the last two arcs, so to speak, are just back-to-back -back in Naruto. So um, I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't realize how how little there was to, to get through in this final game because, um, again, the, the previous entries were much bigger, longer uh, journeys, you know? So... <clears throat> Did you read about the plan? I read about the plan and so much more. So here's what's up. A lot of people, as you said, sent me uh, what they felt was the important details. And there was a lot of pausing to understand what the fuck was happening. And mm -hmm. uh, there was, uh -huh. a, and, and to be quite honest, there was too much. There was just too much. And, and at the moment, I need distance on Naruto because I'm fucking just done. I'm done and I, I can't... There's all these extra shit to go to go to scrape and figure out that I just don't have the energy for right now. I'm going to need some time for it. But yes, we when it comes to specifically the plan, uh, uh, sp uh, the the, <laughs> the Hyuga... Uh, eugenics, eugenics is real, ninjas! We, we, went, through, we went through that entire um, like meme and uh, it was pretty good. That's one of the best things to come out of the the fucking uh, 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 the, the the lore, the memes, and the fandom. That was really that if, was really if strong. If you had, if you had to pick one thing about the finality of the Naruto and the way that the story turned out, that was your favorite. What would it be? Actually, no. Oh. Not actually, like your <laughs> favorite. Well, because I can tell you what mine is. They just let him go, dude. Yep, 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 yep. So we'll get there. We'll get there, right? They just, they just let him go. Here's, here's how I, here's how I want to kind of frame it, right? <laughs> here's how I want to frame it because it's very important to understand. Uh, it's not very important. It's the least important thing in the world. There's the way Wooly thinks about Naruto is the most unimportant thing ever, but. <laughs> Uh, but the way I got out of this thing is there was a portion of cool shit and it was always being enveloped in garbage, right? That dude kicks that other guy really hard. He kicks him really hard. Hold on to that bullet point. <laughs> Hold on to the bullet point of he kicked him really hard, though. He Be kicks him super hard. Because that bullet point is exactly it. It's there is a thing here. There is a reason why all these years later I kept wondering what happened to these characters and where it went and what and what what happened. Because the cool shit was always there and it was it was always a fun, impressive, dumb shonen thing 
to 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 get hype over, especially early on in. And then when cool shit happens, it's super cool. And when not cool shit happens, uh, it's awful. And when when and and like and then there's a whole bunch of shit that's not awful, but just completely bland and uninteresting. And so mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the overwhelming majority of Naruto ends up being uh, either neutral, bland, or just really bad. And the highlights yeah. of cool shit are far and few in between. So eventually I just tap out because I'm like, I'm not dealing with this anymore, right? Yeah. Even, and, 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 and like, this is like, there's first there's the filler in the anime that make it awful, but then I tapped out of the manga as well because I was like, this is just getting, I'm, I'm. Well, I'm, the manga you know. became filler after a point, like. You know. I saw the the people holding up the volumes of like, this is pre-time skip Naruto, this is post-time skip Naruto, and here's how much of it is the Ninja War. Yeah. Um, almost it's like a generic ridiculous. shonen. Perhaps, perhaps, but whatever it was, um. You know, I I it, I jumped out 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 of it. Where as there were other shonens that I didn't jump out of, um, but I was there was always a ratio, and the 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 way we've ended in this world, the ratio of good to shit is the exact same. So, like I feel like. I've ended up in the exact same place with the exact same energy I had when I started where like by the end, if I didn't hit credits, I would have tapped out there. I yeah. would have just quit. There's a fact. In fact, there's a point in which in the final arc where if that was not the final arc, I would have quit again. Um. <laughs> And and the fa and the only thing at that point where I'm like, well, you got to see it through is because you know the credits are coming soon after this. Mm -hmm. The final arc with Kaguya, the Moon Princess, just coming down, waltzing in, and uh, just aliens. and <laughs> literal aliens show up in the story. And the, and then you get the backstory of the aliens, and they're just Naruto and Sasuke again. And I'm like, this is garbage. Like, this dude has nothing. He has no ideas. And and like, I at that point was just on this full on like, oh man, how wrong and how abusive are these relationships? That these characters have with each other and you know you kind of are just like looking at it with this like this is a horrible emotionally manipulative situation these main characters are in and no one seems to care about um about uh the your bad actions and there, there, there's, there's no real... sense of punishment or like... at the very least like gravity or weight to, to, to evil. The, the story goes to like some weird immoral places in which in the Naruto universe, like evil is genetic. So like there's bad okay, so behavior there's behavior yeah. is innate okay, from your so, parents. But but it, it and, and the crazy thing is is that in any other story, that point would be a hyper like focal insane thing to 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 talk about where you're like the uchiha are born with the curse of hatred they are genetically yeah. predisposed to being fuckwads because when they lose something precious their brain activates a special unique circumstance that that, that and the chakra unlocks in them and makes them emotional and kind of crazy on a genetic level right that is a psychotic detail to add to your story but it's Cause not it, even because it's the only way you can justify. Well, they all had to go. No, really, no, really, no, really. But it's such a they hand, all had to go, and it's but it's such a hand waveable thing in the grand scheme of it all. Um, except for the fact that the second Hokage, who uh, basically endorsed the cleansing of the Uchiha, is a very hard to argue with <laughs> stance. It had a very hard to argue with stance where he's like, man, these fucking Ichi Huchiha. And then it's like, yeah, no, you weren't even wrong. In the end, deep down genetically, that was that they were they were a problem, right? But no, 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 never mind that. Never mind that. 
Um, you're, the, the, the part that I was focusing on so much and the part that bothered me so much is that the core of the story is the relationship between Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, Sakura to some degree. And this whole thing, like the idea of it's like it's like um, poetry, it rhymes. Like that's, uh -huh. that's, it stops being funny. It just becomes sad because by the time you see the eighth spiky haired kid yelling at a serious long haired individual that is, that is grumpy and evil and, and you just like, you completely die. You just fall out of your chair and die because like they've drawn no fewer than like eight or nine different Naruto's in the past, present, and future, and then to th then they act, then they go in to say that oh no, there is a repeating history element here where these are reincarnations of Yin and Yang. But then oh, so it's pointless. It's pointless. But then there are still yin and yangs that are not part of this reincarnation line that still look like them because I don't know I don't know what else to draw I don't know what else to design it's ups it's so ridiculously upsetting and the fact that villains are never made to really pay for what they do or live up to their own fucking crimes is beyond infuriating right they this just let him go dude because if you talk someone into feeling sorry that's good enough and you have to understand what if, you, what if they're not sorry at all so um starting with and like we're going full spoilers here whatever i don't care uh if you oh, don't yeah, want naruto, naruto? spoilers yeah i'm just okay. saying if you don't want spoilers for naruto then stop listening obviously at this point but like from the moment the akatsuki is introduced into the story Right, and by the way, that reminds me. You can tell that, like, I get a vibe here that it's like the way the story is written is they show you a shadowy figure, and then he says we're gonna get there, and then figure it out. So they go shadowy figures yeah. in robes, Akatsuki. Duh, we who are they? We get there, we figure it out, and then the moment we figure it out, here's a shadowy figure. It's the Sage of the Six Paths, and then who knows, right? Shadowy figure, and then eventually when we get to the Sage of the Six Paths, and he's and he's there, they go, okay, here's another shadowy figure. It's the fucking mom, you know, and they literally yeah. just jump from one to the other and try to figure it out as they go. So from the moment the uh, the Akatsuki are introduced as these 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 big fucking uh, ISIS uh, collective of villains, the um you go through this thing about how how fucking evil they are and how they're killing everybody and how they they don't care and whatever and you go through each one of them and each one of them has their own personal sob story because of course they do right yeah um, i have to with you know with like okay you know what maybe i'm generalizing perhaps there's some exceptions in there but for the most part a lot of them end up getting these things of like no 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 okay about half of them get these moments of like we're going to show you uh why these the, the these people are you know sad sitting on the swing uh the QB literally becomes a friendly good guy hanging out with Naruto right but when you go uh past all these evil Akatsuki members or whatever they get let off the hook at their origin point because they were being manipulated by Madara, right? And Madara is oh. the true evil that was manipulating them. And then Madara Uchiha. Yes, exactly. Right. So you go, okay. So Naruto talks, and it turns out these people were not evil. They were just manipulated by Madara. Okay, cool. And then you go into the Madara story, and then you find out that, hey, you know, um, that's not even really Madara, that's Obito. And Obito is the one literally responsible for murdering uh, everyone that night with the QB, murdering Naruto's parents, uh, threatening to stab the child. Uh, he fucking literally, like, he does everything bad in the story from Naruto's birth point forward. It's, it's <laughs> ridiculous, you know? And, um... He is just another kid who had a sad past, who we feel sorry for. But really, he was also being manipulated manipulated by the real Madara, so he can get let off the hook, right? And there's a panel... Yeah, the fact that he's the coolest guy, apparently. There is a giant collection of all the fucking things that he did, including 
a panel that describes that 40,000 ninja out of an 80,000 ninja force died on the battlefield fighting against Obito and Madara. And hey, in the end, Tok no Jutsu got through to him. So now when he gets double-crossed uh, uh, by Madara in the final moments because he decides to switch sides, Naruto goes, no, he's the coolest guy. And is totally just hand-waving all of the sins of the past because it's okay. Like dead as far as the eye can see. <laughs> it's all okay now. He's cool now. He's good. He's a friend. We're all good. Um, yeah, never mind the fact that he was doing it uh, because he just never got, off, got over his crush when he was a child. Um, which, apparently, I've been informed by uh, uh, that, that it's possible that he would be unable to enter the infinite Tsukiyomi that he created. So technically he was being selfless about that, but I need to see a source on that. I don't know how valid that is. That might just sound like wishful thinking, but nonetheless, as far as it goes, his entire motivation appears to be, I didn't get, I didn't get my dick wet when I was a child and that upset me. So now I'm going to make everybody suffer, right? Great. Cool. This fucking guy then gets the complete hand wave for all his sins. And it wasn't his fault, man. He was being manipulated. So now we go face Madara. And Madara Uchiha. Let me get it straight. Don't get it twisted. Madara Uchiha. Uh, who, by this point in the story, has taken the meaning of stacks on stacks on stacks to such an extreme by even shonen standards that I wouldn't even know where to begin comparing anyone I've, I've to seen him. the meme of like the, the the most overpowered stupid bullshit ever. The dumbest thing about all of this that frustrates me so much is that characters just get like Sasuke and Naruto just get shit launched at them because they're our main characters. They just get powers dropped on top of them so that new action figures yeah. can be made practically. It's almost like that idea where you're just yeah. looking at like suddenly he's got this new ability and suddenly the Sharon Gan can let you do that, right? So when we cut to the final battles where they're piloting skeleton Gundams and fighting yeah. against meteors in the sky, you're like, yeah, sure, why not? The eyeball lets him why do not? that. And Madara yeah, is the totally. kind of character where he's doing he's doing the all for one type of idea. So sure, he's building this up. He's building up a I'm taking all these powers for myself, mwahaha. But then you do the exact same thing for Naruto and for Sasuke. So Madara Uchiha, and shout outs to um to uh uh Buttons O'Hulahan, uh HB John Z Zwan do for this because it's a post that he didn't hear us from watching our thing. Um, is there an anime character stronger than Madara Uchiha? Yeah, I've seen, yeah I read it. I'm referring to the Rinne Tensei Madara Uchiha with the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and the Rinne Gan Dojutsus with the Ridiko Path's ability equipped with his Gunbai and control of the Jubi and the Ghetto Manzo, a complete Susano with Hashirama Senju's DNA implanted into his chest so that he can perform Mokuton Kekkei Genkai and Yin Yang release ninjutsu, as well as being extremely skilled in Taijutsu and Bukijutsu. Fuck this character, this is the most stupid shit ever. This is uninteresting, this is trash, right? You create a character that is literally unbeatable, so unbeatable that apparently Kishimoto himself says, I don't know how to end this. I literally don't know how to beat this guy. So then they don't beat him. A new MacGuffin shows up out of the sky. Kaguya, the fucking moon mommy. And then she just kills him instantly. Free. And goes, I'm the real big bad. And you're like, that's the most... Uh, not, uh, like, he, like, not only is that the most unsatisfying thing ever, but it's like you literally wrote yourself into a corner you couldn't get out of. With this god-formed dude floating over and doing all this shit. Then she just shows up and goes, Ugh, and you're like, this is where we go then, right? And then, All right, I have a stupid question sure. because I'm not super familiar with the ninja details. If she's able to kill the unkillable big bad in a second, how are the heroes able to kill her? Well, because they're the chosen ones. Why couldn't the chosen ones kill that other guy? Well, we that he was too he had too much he was too strong. So that gets to so I mean I, there's so many branching paths to go with it, but it's like 
in the in the sake of fucking having a, a some sort of like like okay so the, the chosen one thing to put put another thing in the in the in the fucking a pin in the board okay um he has like resistances to all types of jutsu ninjutsu and all kinds of genjutsu oh yeah why not yeah fuck it right the only thing that works against him is uh sage jutsu sage energy which is a special kind of energy from the or original source and of course good old punching and kicking so, we grab that pin from earlier, where you say he kicks the guy really hard, and we put it on the table. They're in the end game battle. They're having crazy fights, and uh, uh, Kakashi and Obito are teaming up, and the fourth... Kaiju shit. The fourth Hokage is running around with Naruto, and they're both fighting. I'm sorry, what? The fourth Hokage is running around with Naruto, and they're both fighting. But he... What, it... He also has a QB dead? inside of him. D but dead, though? And when he died, he learned how to use its maximum power so that when he got reincarnated, he knew how to do it exactly as good as Naruto knew how to do it. So, oh. zombie fourth okay. Hokage is just as skilled in his QB uh, training, even though he died seconds b uh, uh, before it was put into him. And then he pops out knowing right, how to do well, everything. Okay. All right. So, Wait, so there's two QBs? There's like a... The QB gets cut in half, actually, at birth. That's what happens. There's oh, two, well, the, 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 he's two, two of them. Yeah. So whatever. So then when all that is happening and Gara is a good boy, Gara is great. Gara is an, the like exemplary like leader that actually knows how to care about his people and motivate and be a really good guy. Gara is great. Um, well, they're all fighting in, the, in this pocket little uh fucking crater area and then Maito guy shows up who you remember as Rock Lee's teacher yeah so i don't know how much you remember about naruto but when you're looking at the running time in the movie and there is like barely half an hour left and they're fighting the final crazy god level entities and might guy shows up there's like, only oh, I know exactly what's going to happen. There's only one reason why that guy shows up, right? Yeah. What is that? It's you open up all You open gates, up the fucking gates. <laughs> so what yeah, happens? See, well, what what happens when you do all eight gates? So, he shows up and I'm like, "Yes, this is this is it. Like we know you, we know we're about to get out of here. We know that the fucking you know, we're about to fucking wrap it up. Show us what happens." Guy gets in and they're like, "Yeah, all of this magic doesn't work. The only thing that'll work besides this crazy sage bullshit is the people who kick the tree really hard. They can kick the dude really hard. How's this going to work? Fuck out of him. He walks in. He opens up the fucking death gate. He pops that fuck. He pops it. He, it's it's as hype as it's supposed to be. He turns into a Dragon Ball character. It's as overwhelmingly <laughs> insane as it's supposed to be. And... He beats the shit out of this god in such a fa in such a fashion that the dude is like, "This is amazing. You're the strongest dude ever. I'm having fun fighting you. This is hilarious." Like Madara's reaction to guy being that strong is so fun and interesting. It's probably the it's the most interesting thing about Madara to me. It's the funnest thing. It's the moment where I actually like him. Because he's like, oh my god, I'm untouchable, but you're touching me? This is great. This fight is so much fun. And then Guy is like exploding, right? Literally boil, bl bl uh, blood boiling out of his oh, body. Oh, I've seen it. And then he does his final attack, Night Guy, which is just the ultimate super atomic dynamic entry. It's a dynamic entry that like is basically a fucking stratospheric giga drill breaker. And he blasts half of Madara's body off of him in a like Terminator-esque uh, T-1000 wreckage moment and um, because he's unbeatable he sits back he gets back up and goes oh, oh, oh man you almost killed me that was fucking rad dude and that was his final energy and really and truly well you know um, tune into Wooly Versus for the adventures uh, where uh, I give what I think should be the real ending of, of Naruto, uh, by the way, which uh, I think was universally received as an upgrade to the story. But my, that, that aside, uh, he goes, oh, fuck, you almost got me, bro. That was great. And then uh, gets up and just goes back to 
the story being whatever trash it is and my guy is you know cooked um so you have like this moment where you're like that's cool right you're like yeah that's the stuff that i liked before there's that nugget of good shit and then someone sent me the statue that they made of him which is apparently this crazy $500 statue of him with the eighth gate open and it looks ridiculously cool like it is high quality insane shit and i'm like i never in a million years thought i would have consider looking at a naruto statue but i'm looking at that I, thing i'm going, of the opinion that like like i'm sure yours was a little more detailed but if guy had just kicked him and he would have just died and it would have rendered like all the other characters stupid storylines and upgrades pointless that would have been way better that would have been way better spoiler alert how Nar my how naruto should have ended yeah there you go uh i want to take that statue and just put a little plaque at the bottom of it that says the end yeah <laughs> but regardless it's like guy did it <clears throat> And it's like all these storylines about <laughs> eugenics and Kick the hereditary the tree powers really and hard. Never just learn how to really good. Kicking the tree. They cut to a flashback of Guy and his dad training, and then they walk by Kakashi and his dad, and then Kakashi's like, Oh man, who's that kid? Oh, that's the loser that didn't make it into the exams. He failed. He's not great at all. And then Kakashi's dad goes, Nah, dude. Look at him. His arms and legs are busted up as fuck. He's training way harder than you. And if you don't get up to that level, he's going to be way better than you. And Kakashi's like, oh. Man, I, bet, I bet Eli's video about uh, Naruto, the self-made hypocrite, is like extra funny now with this new context. Hilarious. Because apparently, right? And this is the thing that actually, it took a second when people were yelling it out and I didn't quite understand. Everyone yelled. Neji was right and I'm like right about what and it's like back in the fucking tuning exams when Neji, oh my god you're super right when Neji says destiny is preordained you cannot break it you cannot defy it what you are is is given to you from the start you have the cards you're dealt you you play with those cards and Naruto says no Right, Rock Lee shows hard. you that Rock Lee shows you that hard work can overcome anything, and an underdog can can doesn't have to stay an underdog. And he's like, I can do it with just my belief and my ninja way, right? And and then he beats Neji, and then Neji's like, Oh man, my philosophy, I don't know, whatever. But except Naruto was preordained to win because he had a million powers that he didn't know about, including the most important one in that he is literally the reincarnation of the moon god's son and sasuke is the other reincarnation of the moon god's son and the war that they fought against each other is an endless cycle of hatred that has been repeated over and over and they're just the latest so that when they die oh, cool. and get their fucking asses uh, uh blasted uh, uh before they die the literal architect by of the story the white the man in the white suit sitting in the chair who says hey neo what's up right steps in to go hey naruto what's up hey sasuke what's up here's your god powers go do the thing and then they go yeah we're chosen one big heroes preordained by destiny and Neji, who fucking sacrificed himself to save Naruto, is spinning in his grave because, holy fuck, it was destiny the whole time. The whole message was nonsense. So, I mean, obviously there's a million pieces of shit writing everywhere, right? But in terms of my own personal experience and of things that have gotten popular, and in part due to Plague's excellent video... I can't think of a single work of fiction that literally tells you what it's about and then spends a decade shitting all over its ostensible message. Naruto literally looks at you reading the page and goes, hard work is all that matters. And then you read a story for a decade in which everyone is genetically predisposed to win and it's all fate. And no one's hard work accomplishes shit. 
it shits all over itself, but not before um, aiming the ass sky high and pluming so that it gets everywhere, including onto uh, the ass of origin. <laughs> 